What's up guys, this is Shane Sams from fliplifestyle.com and you are probably wondering why am I filming my computer screen and me on the computer screen, right? Okay, well, I'm getting ready to do a YouTube live. I'm teaching all about email marketing for 2018 and I wanted to take a second to give you guys an awesome iPad Pro tip. So when I do YouTube lives, I wanna jump in and just immediately get into the content and I want to use my screen as a dry erase board. I don't have a dry erase board in my office, but I can use my iPad Pro as a screen, right? And I can make it broadcast directly to YouTube Live, to Facebook Live, anywhere I wanna go. And I can use my Apple Pen and my iPad Pro to basically whatever I draw down here happens on the screen. So I can effectively teach and use that on my YouTube screen or my Facebook Live. So how do you do that? How do we do this? How did I get it to where I was drawing on screen and streaming my video and my dry erase board side by side using just my iPad Pro, all right? All right, so let's go over the steps real quick. Let me show you my messy handwriting. This is a low-tech video, y'all, low-tech. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is set up my Mac and uh, make sure I've got good power because it's gonna be running the software and my iPad Pro for this entire event. So I wanna make sure that I've got all that taken care of, I've got my power, okay? Next, set up my lighting, get that set up. And then I'm gonna get my iPad Pro and my pen. I wanna go ahead and make sure my Apple pen is really charged up beforehand because I won't be able to plug it in during the show, during the broadcast, during the live stream, okay? Next, we're gonna use a lightning cable and we're gonna connect that to the MacBook. That's really important. I think there is a way to do this um, wirelessly, like with Bluetooth or something, but we're just gonna use the wire because I want a really good stable connection and I don't want anything interfering with that. So I'm gonna use a lightning cable, connect the two together, and then I'm gonna go down here into my uh, software and I'm gonna open up QuickTime. I wanna open my QuickTime player. And when I do that, once I get into QuickTime, I've already got it open, but once I get it in there, I'm gonna go up here to File and I'm gonna hit new movie recording. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna find my iPad. It's immediately gonna find that. It's gonna appear right there on the screen and I've already got that going, okay? So then we're gonna minimize this. Don't close it, leave it open. And next we're gonna open OBS. So I'm gonna make that big real quick so you can see it. And you can see I've already got all of this set up. So how did I do that? Well, the first thing I do is I go to my normal uh, camera screen right there and I've already got audio and video in there that's kind of default when you open up OBS I want to add my dry erase board to this so I'm going to delete this out delete this out and close it yes all right so what I'm going to do next uh, let me delete this one too so I don't have any any problems all right, I'm gonna hit add. And then I'm gonna go down here to window capture. When that opens up, I'd, um, name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Hit okay. And then this screen's going to open up. You're gonna hit the drop down menu. Can't see it right here, so we're gonna come out here, show all the windows, click it. And we're gonna look for QuickTime. I think I may have closed it. Oh, I know what it is. Gotta open it up. So let's make sure that it's out there where we can see it. Oh, I closed it down. All right, let's go back up here. Open QuickTime, there it is. I can see that now. Let's go back into our window capture. Hit that down now. And now we've got QuickTime Player Movie Recording. Once I click that, I hit OK, and it's going to appear right here. So now all I've got to do is resize this. Huh? I can move my head around, move my face around. I want to get this to where I want it, where it's all in the screen. So once I get that resized, all right, let's get it where it's pretty much taking up the entire screen over here. Top to bottom, I'm gonna move that over to the left. And then we can probably get a little bit bigger. All right, 
All right, so now we've got this taking up most of the screen. And then this right here, you can use an order, just like you would in PowerPoint or something. Um, if I move it up, it's gonna go to the front. So what I usually do is just move this down in OBS. And now it kind of hides behind it. So I, I'm kind of over here now on the left. I can make me a little bit bigger. And now I can sit and talk and I can talk to the camera, talk to YouTube, talk to my audience. I can uh, talk what I'm doing. I can show my face. I'm on the screen building that rapport, building a relationship with my audience. And then when I make notes, I can be like, oh, and then you do this, and then you do this, and over here you do this, and, and I can draw and make notes just like I would if I had a dry erase board like in a classroom. So that's a really good way to do YouTube Lives on the fly. I don't like to make a big giant PowerPoint. I don't like to make a huge presentation. I like to just set up all my stuff here and use it like a whiteboard, just like I would if I was teaching in a classroom. And uh, that's how you do it. You just connect the iPad Pro, get your pen, set it up in OBS, you're good to go. All right, I'm gonna go do Facebook Live. I'm gonna go do a YouTube Live, and uh, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it done.